Rebecca speaking. Uh, hello. Um, I sent a registered post, person to person letter to Mr. Hill recently, and it was returned unclaimed. Can you ask you why that would be? I'm sorry. I think we might have a bad line. Um, I can't really hear you very well. What was that? Okay, I'll move closer. I said I sent a registered post, person to person letter to Mr. John Hill at mm -hmm. the uh, elected office there. Mm-hmm. And it's been returned Can unclaimed. Can I ask you speaking, please? My surname is Francis. And your first name? Jeanette, J-A-N-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Okay. Do you mind holding the line, Jeanette? Thank you. Thanks. Hello, can I help you? Uh, hello. I sent a Australia Post registered letter person to person to Mr. Hill at the electoral office there, or the electorate, sorry, office there, and it's been returned unclaimed. Would there, can you give me any insight on why that would happen? Uh, yes, I can. It was sent here, but we couldn't sign for it when, he, when it came because it was person to person, and Mr. Hill wasn't actually here. So it went. So Mr. Hill never. So Mr. Hill never actually goes to the electorate office. No, 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 no. That's not what I said. The day that it came, right? The day the postman brought it for uh, a There's 14 days to claim it. You get a notice in the. You get a notice, and you go down and claim it. I mean, the rest of the world do this. Yes. Well, the rest of the world isn't a minister, and um, he spends well, his. Well, well, if you let me finish. He spends four days out of five in the city office and as you are aware, he's Minister for Health, so he's often not in this office Oh yes, but this is an electorate office thing, not a ministerial thing. So how is someone... Yeah, well, that, if, if you sent it... Excuse me, can you contact. just wait please? If you'd sent it just registered mail, like other people do, then he would have got it because one of us here in the office would have signed for it and then it would have gone in for his mail, but he hasn't been here to receive the po the postman. No, he hasn't been there for 14 days. No, he has been here. Well, then I everyone... That's what I knows. said. If you want him you to see the letter... you think I can finish the sentence, if that's all right with you? Yeah, sure. Everyone knows that when you get a registered post letter, you get a little card from the delivery people and you could have 14 days to claim it and more often than not, they keep the article long before, long after the 14 days, especially if they know who you are. So I can't honestly say that what you're saying is a valid reason because we all know the post office is just a short stroll around the corner from the electric office, or the electoral office. We all know the people at the at the post office know who Mr. Hill is, and we know that surely they would have held on to it for him. This cost me a considerable amount of money to bring to the attention of my uh, member of parliament. It's not a matter of ministerial attention; it's an attention to my member of parliament. So, by refusing this, what you're saying is my member of parliament refuses to represent me in parliament. Is that correct? I never said that. Well, that's what you're saying. Well, well I, no, 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 no. I'm not here to argue with you. I'm telling you what I'm happened. Talking. What happened is the postman arrives, I don't know, eight, half a state in the morning, and whenever it was on the day that it arrived, he came in and we weren't allowed to sign for it because it was person to person. Now, Mr. Hill spends certain hours in this office. I've just explained that to you. But because he's a minister, he spends an awful lot of his time away from the office. And his staff here deal with many things. Now, if we could have signed for that, we would then have been able to give it to him when he came in or send it in his bag to the city office, or he would have got it. But he cannot... He he is unable to get to the post office. He has commitments all day and all night. I mean, I'm sure you understand that. So, so if I could interrupt you there, what you're saying is his commitments in his ministerial role uh, actually overrides his commitments to his... To a certain extent, I suppose you could say that. I haven't looked at it like that before, but to a certain extent. I mean, he's the Minister for Health and Mental Health, as you're quite well, aware. Surely, 
Surely he's elected as the uh, Member of Parliament in a... He, he area comes to his elected office. I've just explained to you, but not within the hours of the post office. Portfolio. I'm sorry? What, what portfolio? Could you interrupt me again? I said if he's elected to a state member in, of a uh, state seat, then his responsibility is to his constituents above and before. Yeah, well, I've explained it all to you, yeah. and I, I, you know, I can't really say anything other than what I've already well, without said. His, without being elected into a, a, an area, he couldn't possibly be elected as the minister or nominated as the minister, could he now? Well, I, I can't answer those questions, I'm sorry. I, can't, I just can't answer them. I've explained to you the saying, reason why. Mr Hill didn't have time to attend to his constituent That's responsibility. That's not what I said. You're twisting my words. Well, so thank you very much for your telephone call. I'm sorry. Hello? Hello? Oh, she hung up.